Hello viewers, I'm going to talk briefly about my Breville infuser. Here in Canada, I believe the number is the 840, sorry, the BES, Baker Edward Sam 840XL. And, uh, I don't know, it's a couple of years, three years old. Pump already went once and I had that professionally replaced. And uh, then yesterday morning I went to brew coffee and the steam wand worked, the hot water dispenser worked, but nothing was coming out of the brew head. So, like you, I got online, went through all sorts of videos, and I found a guy who talked about that, and I'm going to put the comments down below. This is not going to be a piece-by-piece, piece, take-apart, put-together video, but it is a, a winning strategy that I used. He was demonstrating on a BES870, but everything he did applies to this machine I have discovered. Now walk around to the rear and just explain briefly as best I can. What needed to happen is I needed to manually clean the two tiny silver pumps, which are not very visible in this open uh, display, but they are attached to the bottom side of those two black boxes, which are the solenoids. Those solenoids have plungers, which activate two little uh, valves. Did I call them pumps? They're valves. Two little silver valves below those black boxes. So I had to loosen but not remove the pump, which is the black gizmo behind the wires at the bottom below all the beige plastic. I had to loosen and sort of pull back the pump. Then two screws removed the solenoid valve assembly and uh, I took the assembly apart following uh, the other YouTubers instructions and cleaned it overnight in 100% white vinegar and uh, changing the vinegar before I went to bed after having soaked it already for several hours. That apparently removed some gunk and loosened up the valves, putting it back together today. I am now getting water through the brew head. I'm real pleased. That valve assembly apparently is no longer sold by Breville at the parts replacement uh, depot. If you look online, it says uh, discontinued. I don't know if aftermarket uh, solenoid valves are available. Fortunately, so far, I've not made, need to make that inquiry. Uh, so I'm going to try to describe in text uh, what I did, um, and uh, hopefully it will help you. And I'll reference the other videos that the fellow, who I think is in uh, Alberta, British, uh, Alberta, Canada, uh, I'm in British Columbia, uh, the other fellow provided help that without that help I couldn't have done it. I'll just uh, scan over here on the counter to uh, show you. Uh, my scribbling is not worth replicating or typing exactly, but I made real careful notes of every single step I took to remove the unit, and then when the unit was removed, uh, how I took it apart to uh, clean it, and then, of course, working backwards, I was able to uh, reassemble it successfully. Uh, needle nose pliers, good Phillips head, uh, what else did I use? Um, that's about it. Uh, I, I lubed the little O-rings, of which there are about, I don't know, five, six, with um, avocado oil, just because we have that in the kitchen. It's water safe. I didn't want to go out and buy water safe or food grease, food grade grease just for this little thing. It all slid. So there you go. Under four minutes of introducing the project. Hopefully my text will explain it to you, and if you're pretty handy, you too can maybe save a repair bill and get your infuser working again. Um, I'll finish by saying I've not been real impressed with the build quality of this Breville infuser, uh, number one, and I've been shocked, number two, at the price of good, solid, but basic espresso machines. We really like this one because it dispenses the hot water, and we do drink Americanos. Don't use it for making tea much, but we often top up some espresso shots to make an Americano, and uh, very few machines out there seem to have that water dispenser. So I'm real pleased that this one may be uh, given a, a new lease on life. It's the Breville Infuser. Water stopped flowing from the brew head, kept flowing from the water dispenser and the steam wand, and the fix seemed to be uh, soaking those valves uh, in vinegar. I didn't have any actual descaler. The vinegar worked for me overnight. So there you go. Good luck with your project. Over and out from British Columbia.